Hey guys, there was somebody who posted something on the Cat on Life forum about a parallax effect, and so I figured I'd do a tutorial with talking because it's quite complicated. This is what it looks like in the end. Um, I totally copied it from a Premiere tutorial. I, I link it in the description. Okay, so how did I do this? First, you need to find two clips that are like whatever you want. And you're gonna need three tracks. So you can just drag your two clips on the, on the tracks and copy and paste them twice. And make sure they're aligned, because why not? And then you're gonna add uh, a few effects to them. So f the first one is gonna be you want to split your your screen in like here into three parts. So you're gonna go get alpha shapes because it allows you to make rectangles, which is quite good. So I'm gonna just hide the two upper tracks to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna make a rectangle. I don't want any transition width because I want it to be like yeah, and I want it big on Y. Uh, about 150 for the bottom one, and X will be 500. And I want it to be at the very bottom of the of the screen because this is going to be the bottom the bottom one. So yeah, I'm just I'm yeah like oh yeah, and it's 850. Like I don't know, you just figure it out, you know. Then I'm gonna just drag and drop it on the top one because I want the same thing but on the top and I want to see what I'm doing. Um, so it's gonna be 150. And the middle one is gonna be a bit bigger but like I still can drag the shape. And it's gonna go in the middle, 500. And I still wanna see the track. And I want it to be 200 on the size here so shit that what that one was 500 and that one is 200 and now i should be good if i hide the top and bottom you know like yeah you can just see them coming and you can just copy each one like drag and drop them to the second clips as well then you also so you're gonna want to have a f the fish effect so like i don't know how do you say this i have no idea um so just taking it here on the utmost one gonna collapse this and i want it quite big like yeah seven some seven hundred something and like there are a lot of them and like it's different but i'm not sure it changes anything Oops, I just realized I forgot one thing um, as I was finishing up. Well, so at, I'm going to just add a point in the middle and put this at 502. And I want the end to be 700 something, right? Like what I said. And I'm just going to grab and put it this, put this everywhere. Okay, um, I think, wait, what's wrong? Oh no, it's all good, it's great. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it on every single one of the other ones as well. So you're gonna want to add a transform effect. Um, I'm gonna start by the lower layer, so I'm gonna hide the other two. Well, it's not really necessary at all. Um, collapse everything, and I want it only at the end, like maybe one second from the from the end. So like I'm at five something, so like not even a second. Like I just do like five or two. Um, make smooth keyframes, and I want it to go down a bit, so I can just take this Y thing and go down, Ooh. yeah, uh, maybe like this much, 
and that's when you realize that like the whole thing moves and like if if i have everything showing like there's a big black hole so that's because the effects are into the right order transform needs to be at the top and now we are good and so you're gonna do the same thing for the middle one and the top one but moving not in the same direction so for the middle one collapsing everything again at 502 again more or less here smooth and I'm gonna just make it move a little bit so it has some movement, but like it shouldn't, but well. And then once more on this one, still collapsing everything, smooth, and last one. And I'm gonna make it go up quite a bit, um, like. Why is nothing happening? Kind of love, are you dead? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna need to delete like everything I did at the beginning because it's lagging way too much. Goodbye. Let's hope I remember. Um, so, here we are. Why is nothing happening? It is. Thank you. Okay, great. And at the top again, and I forgot for this one. Okay, so that looks good. The one thing is we have no blur right now. And it would look way better with blur, right? So you're just going to look for blur. I think it's box blur. Yep, that's the one. You want it to be mainly uh, vertical, right? Yeah. So, like, this direction is okay. And just drag it to the top. Uh, so it doesn't look weird. Um, and this one is the same. Like, you don't want it to be like this the whole time, of course. But since there's no movement blur on camera live, you're just going to have to make it. So at the same place, 502, you're going to add something. So this, these keyframes are kind of shit, but like it works. So you just have to move it to 502 and say 0 here and 0 here. And blur factor is 0, 0, and then 5. And you can just drag and drop it on all of them. And then same, you need to make sure it's at the top i think it needs to be at the top right Shit. yeah that was good and so you're gonna do the exact same thing but with different keyframes on the other side like not going from nothing to something but like from something to nothing so i'm just gonna speed through this because yeah Okay, so we're good with the transformation. There's just one thing I just realized is that you might not want the same blur in the middle because it doesn't move as much. So for the middle track, if you go to the last one, you can say maybe like three or something. And then I'm just going to do the same with the, this. I'm Actually, I think it might be quicker if I do like this. Um, three, zero... And like this one doesn't even need to be here. And this one needs to be way earlier at 0 0.12. And I'm just gonna drag it here and drag that here. And it needs to be at the top of the effect. Because else you'll get something like this. You have like black lines here, which look absolutely awful. So yeah, top. And to be completely honest, like I spent maybe 15 minutes of this, well maybe a bit more, but like I didn't try to make it look amazing, but you might want to like maybe wait. I'm gonna render this and see how it looks because actually I you can add some keyframes so it looks better. And I think I might need to add some with the transform actually. So 
runs from here. Like you go in the middle or something, like somewhere in the middle. And you're gonna make it move less than it is. So it doesn't like, you want it to be like this, you know, not like linear or like even like this, you want it to be kind of like this. So I make another one like in the kind of middle, but like lower than it should be. I don't know, does it make sense? I don't think it does, but I like to do this, like kind of force the keyframes, you know. And the same for the last one. And same on the other ones, transform, bye-bye, here, somewhere in the middle. And I want it to be lower, higher, sorry. <laughs> and here. This is getting so long. This tutorial is... Ugh. What do you guys like? Because I know that I hate watching like 20 minutes long tutorials when I am looking for something. But, like I'm like, just give me the info, you know? But I don't know what you guys like. Um, so I'd love it if you could tell me what you want. Um, I can also make this one quicker if you want. Like, I have all the footage, you know, so... Um, blah, blah, add preview zone and start preview window. And... This one is quite useful, like... Okay, so it's done. Um, let's watch this, well, the beginning is useless. Um, let's just... oh my god, what? It's kind of cool, right? I like it. You might find it a bit faster or whatever, I don't know. I think it's good. So, if you have any ideas, please tell me. Because, like, people are like, oh, please do more transitions, or please do more text effects. And I'm like, well, there are so many of them. Like, and it's actually really nice to try and copy something, you know? Like, I just did for Canon Life, so bye bye.